drama, indigenous traditions as well as modern researchers trace the origin of Indian drama to the Vedas. In the Ramayana, we hear of drama troops of women while Kautalya's Arthashastra mentions musicians, dancers and dramatic shows. Drama is a performing art which has also been practiced since times immemorial. Drama could spring from a child's play. The child enacts, mimics and caricates, which was definitely the beginning of drama. Since early times, mythological stories of war between the gods, goddesses and the devils is known. Bharata wrote Natya Shastra and created the place known as Asura Prajna and Amrit Manthan. Natya Shastra is one of the greatest texts written in the field of drama and other performing arts. The next epoch is that of the great Bhasha who wrote plays based on the stories of Udayan, the Ramayana and Mahabharata. Swapna Vashavdatta being his masterpiece. In the 2nd century BC, Patanjali's Mahabhasya refers to several aspects of drama, that is the actors, the stage, rasa in the performances called Kamsvad and Balibad. While referring to drama, Bharata has mentioned Nat, that is the male artist, and Nati, that is the female artist. Music, dance, musical instruments, dialogues, themes, and stage. Thus, we find the drama achieved a great level of perfection during the age of Bharata. For Bharat, drama is a perfect means of communication. He also started the concept of an enclosed area for drama. There is a mention of a community which had professional drama companies. The practice of singing heroic tales became popular. As a result, professional singers came into existence. During the age of the Buddha and Mahavira, drama was a means of communicating the principles of the respective religions. Short skits and long plays were enacted to preach and educate the masses. In the ancient period, till the 10th century, the language of the educated was Sanskrit. So drama was performed mostly in the language known. However, characters belonging to lower classes and women were made to speak Prak. Kautilya's Arthashastra, Vasayan's Kama Sutra, Kalidasa's Abhigyan Shakuntalam were all written in Sanskrit and were significant plays of those times. Bhasha was another celebrated dramatist who wrote 13 plays. Prakrit plays became popular by the 10th century. Vidyapati, who lived sometime during the 14th century, was an important dramatist. He introduced Hindi and other regional languages in the form of songs. Umapati Mishra and Sharda Tanya were also instrumental in promoting drama during this time. In the context of drama, two types developed. The classical drama, which had intricacies of theme and subtle nuances of dramatic traits and folk theatre. It was of spontaneous and extempore nature. Local dialect was used in folk theatre and hence in different provinces many types of folk theatres developed. Acting with accompaniment of music and dance was the popular practice. Many names were given to the forms of folk theatre in different provinces like Bengal, Yatra, Kirtaniya, Natak, in Bihar, Bideshiya, in Rajasthan, Ras, Jhumar, Dhola Maru, Uttar Pradesh, Ras, Nautanki, Swang, Bhand, in Gujarat, Bhavai, in Maharashtra, it was Tamasha, in Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnatak, Kathakali, and Yakshagan. Kuntaleshwar Dattyam is a drama that testifies to the fact that Kalidas belonged to the Gupta age. Instruments like Dhol, Kartal, Manjira, Kanjira were some props used in folk theatre. The medieval period was rich in music 
and dance, but theater did not get much prominence. Wajid Ali Shah, a great patron of art, was also an important patron of drama. He enthused artists to participate in theater and supported them. In the southern region, folk theater with the use of local dialects was more popular. The advent of the British in the country changed the character of the society. In the 18th century, a theater was established in Calcutta by an Englishman. A Russian named Harasim Lebedev founded a Bengali theater which marked the beginning of modern Indian theater in India. English drama, especially by Shakespeare, influenced Indian drama. The stages evolved by educated Indians were different from traditional open air theater. The stages now had rolling curtains and change of scenes. A Parsi company founded in Bombay showed theater could be used for commercial purposes. Dramas began to depict tragedies, comedies, and the complexities of urban life. Dramas were now written in different regional languages. Side by side, folk theater like Yatra, Nautanki, Khayal, and Notch also flourished. Another aspect which influenced performing arts was the adaptation of folk forms to classical forms. A similar situation appeared in the case of writing of drama. Vidya Sundar, a popular drama of the medieval period, was influenced by Yatra. Geet Govinda, an exemplary work by the great poet Jayadev, weaved stories of Krishna in Kirtaniya Natak and Yatra style. At present, a lot of experiments are taking place in the field of drama. Western influences are very clear in the works of Shambhu Mitra, Faisal Alkazi, Badal Sarkar, Vijay Tendulkar. Presently, various types of dramas are flourishing and some of them are stage theatre, radio theatre, nukkad nataks or street plays, monodramas that is one man show, musical theatre, short skits, one act plays. For the content and thematic aspects of dance and drama, we must examine the works of creative literature. The most important literary event which influenced not only dance and drama but painting also was the composition of Jaydev's Geeta Govind in the 13th century. Its great impact can be seen on dance and drama forms all over India, from Manipur and Assam in the east to Gujarat in the west, from Mathura and Vrindavan in the north to Tamil Nadu and Kerala in the south. Innumerable commentaries on the Geeta Govinda exist throughout the country. There was a large number of manuscripts dealing with the Geeta Govinda as material for dance or drama and this work has been the basic literary text used by many regional theatrical traditions. The spread of Vaishnavism during this period gave further impetus to the development of different forms of dance, drama and music. Now let us see some important dramas and the people who have written them. Drama is an art form which has a long historical background in India, but its analytical review and grammatical study was presented by Bharata in Nati Shastra. In the text, it has been mentioned that music and dance are essential parts of drama. Ramayana, Mahabharata and the plays written by Kalidas, Banbhat and Bhas are examples of the combination of all the three art forms, music, dance and drama. Some of the popular dance dramas are like this. Megadutam written by Kalidasa, Abhigyan Shakuntalam written by Kalidas, Padmavati written by Madhusudan, Harsh Charitam written by Banabhat, Neel Devi by Bharatendu, Satya Harishchandra by Bharatendu, Andhir Nagri by Bharatendu, Chandraval and Ajat Shatru by Jay Shankar Prasad, Rajishri and Chandragupta again by Jay Shankar Prasad. Presently, the performing arts have all the three art forms that is dance, music and drama which are flourishing in the country. Several music institutions like Gandharva Mahavidyalaya and Prayag Sangeet Samiti 
have been imparting training in classical music and dance for more than 50 years. A number of schools, colleges and universities in India have also adopted these art forms as a part of their curriculum. Indra Kala Sangeet Vishwa Vidyale of Kheragar is a university of music, Katha Kendra, National School of Drama, Bharatiya Kala Kendra and many institutions are all propagating music in their own ways. Music, conferences, bitecs, lectures, demonstrations are being organized and musicians, music scholars, music teachers and music critics are trying to popularize music and drama. Societies like Spik Mackay, Sangeet Natak Academy are also working hard to protect, develop and popularize Indian music, dance and drama at the national and even international level. At the international level, musicians have made significant contributions. Different institutions of music started by Pandit Ravi Shankar, Ustad Ali Akbar Khan and Ustad Allah Rakha Khan teach Indian music to foreigners. Many foreign universities have departments of Indian performing arts and they award degrees and diplomas to the students. All over the world, Indian artists are invited to perform and participate in various festivals. Various agencies like Indian Council of Cultural Relations and the Ministry of Human Resources Development continuously propagate all these art forms by giving grants, scholarships and fellowships to renowned artists as well as to young artists and by arranging exchange programs in the field of Indian music, dance and drama. The association of people with these art forms definitely makes them better human beings as the very nature of music, dance and drama elevates human soul and creates a pleasant atmosphere. The knowledge and practice of these art forms help in the development of one's personality. The people involved in these art forms can attain balance and peace of mind, self-restraint and love for all. The performances makes them self-confident and capable of adapting to all circumstances. Negative feelings vanish as the soul of music, dance and drama teaches us all about loving and caring.